Hi guys. Zendesk is an established cloud-based help desk management solution for organizations. It offers customizable tools for building online communities and customer portals. This tool includes an array of features, including automation, analytics, reports, and ticketing. So why not Zendesk? Besides being costly, Zendesk also has a long list of advanced features not required by all businesses. Zendesk has limited email automation and answering requests in one queue is impossible. So there are some excellent Zendesk alternatives on the market. To help you find one, we've listed some of them in no particular order. Watch on to learn more about these providers and find out which one will work best for your needs. So let's get started. The first one on the list is Freshdesk. The best Zendesk alternative for small businesses. Just as feature-rich as Zendesk, Freshdesk comes at a much lower price point. It even has a free plan, making it a more affordable option for small businesses. Freshdesk functions as a one-stop shop for customer support teams. The cloud-based platform features a multi-channel help desk, knowledge-based, chatbots, and a ticketing system all wrapped up in a clean and simple interface. Freshdesk's key features include email, social media, and live chat support requests, all consolidated into a single view inbox. For larger teams, it has bulk functionality for assigning, responding to, and closing tickets, plus rich ticketing features like subtasks, comments, prioritization by SLA, and multi-owner assignments. Pre-formatted canned responses for frequently asked questions help to streamline support interactions and auto-assigned emails, chats and calls are based on available bandwidth. Freshdesk offers key integrations with popular tools like Slack, Google Suite, Microsoft Teams and Office 365. These integrations allow for seamless collaboration and communication within the support team and with customers. However, there are some cons to using Freshdesk. Limited customization options, lack of advanced automation features, and contact management and search is not optimal. And for the pricing, there is a free plan available and the paid plans start at $15 per user per month billed annually. Quick note, my work is supported by affiliate commissions. So if this video is helpful, you can find links to the websites I mentioned in the video description. If you click those links, I may earn a commission. That helps a lot. Thank you. OK, next let's talk about Intercom. Intercom is another wonderful Zendesk alternative. The customer messaging platform places focus on enabling companies to build genuine relationships with clients through each stage of the sales funnel. Using Intercom, users can communicate with clients via email, live chat, push notifications and in-app messaging. These options enable companies large and small to reach the right people on every platform at the right moment. Another great intercom feature is that it allows users to create comprehensive knowledge bases. Thus, clients can easily and quickly find the answer to complex and simple questions without needing to speak with a customer service representative. Of course, intercom's messaging capabilities also make it easy for clients to connect with agents when necessary. An advanced feature intercom offers is the in-depth report that the company receives each time a client issue is resolved. This information helps organizations revisit the knowledge base and make changes to help documents as necessary. However, there are some cons to using Intercom. Intercom's pricing structure is arbitrary and difficult to figure out, and changing the operator icon is not possible. And for the pricing, Intercom's pricing is based on seats and reach. They don't offer a free plan, but their starter package provides the core tools to support onboard and engage customers for $74 per month when billed annually. The start package includes two seats with a maximum reach of 1,000 people, followed by $50 per month for each additional 1,000 people. Intercom doesn't provide public pricing for their support, engage, convert or intercom for enterprise packages. Next, we have Zoho Desk, the best Zendesk alternative for companies that use other Zoho products. Having multiple products under one brand umbrella can make life a lot easier on your support team. The products integrate together more easily and usually don't require engineering help. And with more than 45 products under its brand umbrella, changes are that there are other Zoho products your team could use. However, Zoho Desk isn't just another one of the bunch. 
It's a standout customer support solution in its own right. This web-based platform includes a feature-rich help desk, ticketing system, a self-service knowledge center, and an AI-enabled chatbot with advanced functionality. Key features of Zoho Desk include multi-channel ticketing across email, social media, live chat forms, and phones. Users can make and receive calls within the help desk and convert those recordings into tickets, and collision detection is in place to prevent two agents from working on the same support ticket. Zoho Desk's AI-enabled chatbot, Zia, is also impressive. It processes questions, then directs customers to specific knowledge base articles, converts chats into trackable tickets, identifies sentiment, flagging any negatives, and also manages about unhelpful solutions. This platform also has an advanced response editor with snippets and intuitive keyboard shortcuts, making it easier for agents to respond to customer inquiries. Key integrations with Zoho Desk include Zoho CRM, G Suite, Slack, Salesforce, and Microsoft Teams. These integrations allow for seamless collaboration and communication within the support team and with customers. However, there are some cons to using Zoho. Limited customization options, lack of advanced reporting tools, and not very intuitive or straightforward. And for the pricing, there is a free plan available and the paid plans start at $14 per user per month when billed annually. Next, we have Fresh Service. Fresh Service is a cloud-based service desk and IT support platform that helps businesses to manage service requests, handle incident management, and track assets and inventory. Also provides reporting and analytics tools. Compared to Zendesk, Fresh Service offers a more affordable pricing structure for businesses, with plans starting at $19 per agent per month when billed annually. However, Fresh Service has a limited customization options. Some of its pros include affordable pricing, robust ITSM features, and an easy to use interface. Next, we have HubSpot Service Hub. HubSpot Service Hub is a cloud-based customer service platform that aims to simplify the process related to customer support. HubSpot can work for companies of nearly every size, allowing users to quickly connect via conversational bots, live chat, canned responses, and phone calls with live agents. Since HubSpot Service Hub offers a comprehensive knowledge base and automated customer marketing emails, the platform allows companies to constantly engage with customers. As you'd expect, HubSpot Service Hub integrates with the most relevant third-party apps. The price range between $18 and $1,200 per month if billed annually, HubSpot Service Hub also offers a free plan. So as you can see, Zendesk isn't the only great app out there. There are plenty of others, even beyond what we've listed here today. Some have features similar to Zendesk's, others have a completely different set of features and functions. Like I said earlier, my work is supported by affiliate commissions, so if this video is helpful, you can check the links in the description. Again, that helps a lot, thank you. So the point of this video isn't to force you to use something other than Zendesk, it's to consider the other options out there. For some companies, sticking with what's familiar might be worth it, but for others, switching to a new alternative with tools that better suit their needs and goals can help them build their business presence faster. Whichever tool you choose, we'd recommend trying the free version first, risk-free, and if you like it more, you can upgrade. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully this has helped you out, and if it did, leave a comment please, and click the like button, that helps too. And goodbye for now.